Stuart? Yes. I know you are fond of Nara. Oh, yes. Have you ever tried going through the hole in the pillar at Todaiji that is said to bring you good fortune? Ah, the one that's the same size as the Buddha's nostril. Right. Well, yes. Actually, I did many years ago when I was fairly slim. But I'm not so sure I could get through now. <laughs> well, it was quite a tight fit even for me, mm. uh, but an interesting experience. Yes. Todaiji is an enormous Buddhist temple in Nara, Japan's ancient capital. It covers an area as large as 50 baseball stadiums. The temple was founded when Nara became the nation's capital about 1,300 years ago, in the hope that it would bring peace to Japan. The sheer scale of Todaiji is overwhelming. At its center is the Great Buddha Hall. With a width of 57 meters, it's one of the largest wooden buildings in the world. The principal object of worship that it houses is also immense. Standing 15 meters tall, it's the world's largest bronze Buddha. A cumulative workforce of 2.6 million was needed to construct it. The ritual cleaning performed every August gives a good sense of the statue's massive size. Because Todaiji boasts such a long history, it presents a fine overview of the history of Buddhist sculpture in Japan. There are two statues of guardian warriors at the temple's main gate, Nandaimo. These Kongo Rikshi statues were created by Unke and Kaike, master sculptors of Buddhist statues who lived around 800 years ago. The statue with its mouth open symbolizes beginnings in Buddhism. The one with its mouth closed symbolizes the end of things. Together they represent the Buddhist view of the universe. Todaiji is also known for hosting a wide variety of annual events. In March, a ritual called Shunie is held. It's commonly known as Omizutori. On behalf of the people, the priests atone for their sins and faults and offer prayers for the security and happiness of the nation. Then comes the climax of the event, called Otaimatsu. Torches like these originally served to light the priest's way, but at some point the idea took hold that having a spark fall on you would ensure a year free of illness. Todaiji's treasure house, Shōsōin, contains countless items that reveal Japan's long history of interaction with other countries. The five-string lute, which originated in India, was often played in Japan in the 8th century. It's clear that Nara, the capital of Japan at the time, was a cosmopolitan city that had links with the Middle East and Europe. Todaiji is a temple that gives us great insights into various phases of Japanese culture. Yes. Any comments on the video? Well, that scene of the annual cleaning of the Buddha was interesting. Ah, yes. The Ominugui ritual. Hmm. It's not so easy to gauge the statue's size when you stand in front of it. The hall's rather dark and the statue is basically black these days. Yes. But originally it was covered in gold. Hmm. So it must have really shone. Oh, I would love to have seen that. Hiro, uh, there are several questions that visitors to Todaiji often ask. Mm -hmm. One is, how did they manage to make such a huge statue of Buddha all those centuries ago? Well, it was certainly an extremely difficult project. Mm. Of course, the statue has been reconstructed several times, mm -hmm. but it's said that the original version was cast in eight separate stages uh -huh. using the cutting-edge technology of the time. Mm. And it's recorded that a total of about 500 tons of copper was used, gathered from uh, various parts of the country. Mm. And you mentioned earlier that the statue was originally coated in gold. That's right. Mm. The casting took a total of 12 years, but five years of that 
were spent just on the gold plating. Mm. And there was a problem. Mercury was mixed with the gold mm. to make it adhere to the statue. Uh, what many people don't know is that uh, many of the workers suffered from mercury poisoning. Mm. Uh, the narrow period lasted only 74 years. Do you think mercury contamination was a possible reason for relocating the capital? Well, um, of course, uh, there were many political reasons mm. uh, behind the relocation. Yes. But I suspect uh, that provided an added incentive to move. Mm. One more question. Why is Nara Park, which includes Korfkuji Temple and Kasuga Taisha Shrine, always full of deer? <laughs> they seem pretty tame and come up to eat the deer biscuits you can buy in the park, but are they in fact wild? Oh, yes, they are. Hmm. Um, deer are regarded as the sacred messengers of the deities enshrined at Kasuga Taisha Shrine. Mm -hmm. And for that reason, they are protected inside the park. And a stylized stag with a kind of Buddhist statue look is the mascot of the city. Ah, you mean Sentoku? Yes. Ah, he's yes. a very popular character. Very popular, a very interesting kind of design. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.